Welcome to the Formula Foundation. In this video, first we will see the general relationships between the roots and coefficients of the equation f of x is equal to 0. Which enable us to solve the different equations and then we will solve some examples so that you can clearly understand the concepts. Right? But before doing this, let's see briefly that what is meant by the root of the equation. So you know mathematically if we have a function y is equal to f of x. It is a function uh, y is a function of x means for suppose we have the polynomial uh, uh, let's suppose y is equal to x square plus 3x plus 2 means it is our f of x now let me put y is equal to 0 in the equation y is equal to f of x so now we have the equation y is equal to f of x as y is equal to x square plus 3x plus 2 now put y is equal to 0 put y is equal to 0 so we have the equation x square plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 or you can write that this equation becomes f of x is equal to 0 right and uh, if we solve this equation for x then the values of x will be called the roots of this equation for example again consider this equation and when you solve this equation x square plus 3x plus 2 for the values of x then those values of x will be called the uh, roots of this equation and geometrically what is meant by the roots of the equation for this consider the graph of any function y is equal to f of x let's suppose it is our coordinate axis x axis and y axis and let's suppose it is the graph of the function y is equal to f of x let's suppose it is the graph right now can you see that at which point the value of y is equal to 0 obviously the point which lies on the x axis at this point has the uh, y value as 0 means uh, its coordinates are a comma 0 let's suppose a is any uh, number from the uh, on the x axis then the po the coordinates of this point will be a comma 0 and you know the point which lies on the x axis is called the x intercept so it means that roots are nothing but the x intercepts of the function right now come to the topic so before driving the general relation consider the example let we have the equation let we have an equation an equation f of x is equal to 0 and here f of x is equal to let we have this cubic equation 2x cube minus 11x square plus 17x minus 6 is equal to 0 right so you know according to the fundamental theorem of linear algebra the number of roots of the polynomial equation always equals to the degree of that equation means this equation must have three roots and I hope you know how to find the roots of this cubic equation so because there is no proper formula to find the roots of cubic equation first root can be found by inspection for this write the divisors of 6 so divisors of in order to find the solution to find the roots of equation first uh, root is found by inspection inspection and you know how to find first root by inspection first write the divisor of this constant term so you know divisor of constant terms are uh, divisors of 6 are plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 6 so all these numbers are the divisors of this number 6. Now put these divisors one by one in this equation and check which of the divisors are the roots. And uh, you can check that uh, at x is equal to 2. Uh, x, x is equal to 2 is one of the roots of this equation because you can see that uh, when you put uh, 2 in this equation, 2 times uh, 2 cube is equal to 8 minus 11. 2 square 4 plus 17 times 2 minus 6 and when you simplify this uh, 2 8 to 16 minus 44 plus 17 to the 34 minus 6 and 16 uh, 40 minus 44 minus 6 and 16 you will get this equal to 0 right so it means x is equal to 2 uh, x is equal to 2 is one of the roots one of the roots now how to find other two roots you can use the synthetic division so you will write the coefficient of this equation that are 2 11 sorry minus 11 17 and minus 6 
how to use synthetic division you know very well first you will write this term as it is now 2 into 2 is equal to 4 minus 11 plus 4 is equal to minus 7 minus 7 will be multiplied by 2 and you will get minus 14 and we, when you uh, simplify this 17 minus 14 gives minus 3 minus 3 into 2 is equal to 6 plus 6 and 0 as the reminder you can write this equation x 2x cube minus 11 x square plus 17 x minus 6 is equal to one of the factor will be x minus 2 right and another fact, uh, polynomial or uh, quadratic polynomial whose coefficients are given so polynomial will be 2x square minus 17 x minus 3 and you will equate this by 0 now to find the other two roots you are required to solve this quadratic equation so you can solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so by quadratic formula by quadratic formula we have uh, x is equal to minus b means 7 plus minus radical b square uh, b square minus 4 ac so it will be minus 4 ac sorry i made a mistake that it will be uh, plus 3 right when plus 3 will be multiplied by this 2 you will get plus 6 so the uh, factor will be quantity factor having this positive sign right so 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0 now apply the quadratic formula so according to quadratic formula minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac when you multiply 4 by 2, 2 into 3 2 into 3 6 6 into 4 24 upon 2a 2a what is a a the value of a is equal to 2 it means it will be 4 right so x is equal to 7 plus minus and 49 minus 24 gives 25 right so the square root of 25 will be 5 upon 4 so roots will be 7 plus 5 upon 4 and 7 plus 5 upon 4 gives uh, 12 upon 4 right and 7 minus 5 upon 4 uh, gives 2 upon 4 so roots will be 3 and 1 upon 2 these are two other roots now because x is equal to uh, 2 3 and 1 upon 2 are the roots are the roots of the given equation so then according to factor theorem x minus 2 x minus 3 and x minus 1 upon 2 must be the factor of must be the factors of given equation now can you write this equation as the uh, in the form of factors x minus 2 x minus 3 times x minus 1 upon 2 no it will not be equal to this until and unless you write this coefficient of x square with it that is 2x cube minus 11x square plus 17x minus 6 is equal to 2 times coefficient of x cube is uh, will be 2 so 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 x minus 1 upon 2 or you can write this as you can multiply this 2 by this factor you have 2x minus minus 1 times x minus 2 x minus 3 now when you multiply these three factors you will get the same equation uh, uh, 2x cube minus 11x square plus 17x minus 6 you can convince yourself by multiplying these three factors now come to the generalization of this example so for the general approach consider the equation consider the equation f of x is equal to 0 as nth degree polynomial nth degree polynomial that is you can write f of x is equal to a naught x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus a2 x power n minus 2 up to a n and it is your equation 1 now let's suppose the roots of this equation are the roots of 1 are alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 up to alpha n because it is the nth degree polynomial and because alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha n are the roots of this equation it means that alpha uh, sorry x minus alpha 1 
एक्स माइनस अल्फा टू अप टू एक्स माइनस अल्फा एन मस्ट बी द फैक्टर ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन मस्ट बी द फैक्टर ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑफ इक्वेशन वन एंड फ्रॉम द रिसेंट एग्जाम्पल वी कैन राइट इक्वेशन वन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फैक्टर्स एज एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए नॉट विच इज द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स पावर एन ए नॉट टाइम्स एक्स माइनस अल्फा वन एक्स माइनस अल्फा टू अप टू एक्स माइनस अल्फा एन नाउ अगेन कंसिडर दिस क्यूबिक इक्वेशन विच कैन बी रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दीज फैक्टर्स राइट नाउ इट इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स एक्स माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू नाउ मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू फैक्टर्स वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू फैक्टर्स यू विल गेट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस टू एक्स प्लस सिक्स एंड वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस फैक्टर विद दिस फैक्टर एक्स माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू यू विल हैव टू टाइम्स एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस हाफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री अपॉन टू एक्स प्लस टू अपॉन टू एक्स माइनस सिक्स अपॉन टू राइट इट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू फैक्टर्स नाउ यू कैन राइट दिस एज टू टाइम्स एक्स क्यू माइनस द कॉफिशेंट्स ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर सो द कॉफिशेंट्स ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर विल बी थ्री माइनस टू एंड माइनस वन अपॉन टू सो टेकिंग माइनस एज कॉमन यू हैव थ्री प्लस टू प्लस वन अपॉन टू टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर एंड देन राइट द कॉफिशेंट्स ऑफ एक्स सो दीज आर सिक्स थ्री अपॉन टू एंड टू अपॉन टू मीन्स वन सो यू कैन राइट हेयर सिक्स प्लस थ्री अपॉन टू प्लस वन इट बिकम्स वन टाइम्स एक्स एंड देन यू विल राइट द कॉन्सटेंट टर्म दैट इज सिक्स अपॉन टू नाउ लेट वी कॉल दीज रूट्स वन अपॉन टू टू एंड थ्री एज अल्फा वन अल्फा टू एंड अल्फा थ्री लेट we call the roots of the above equation equation as alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 then you can see that we can write this uh, uh, equation as 2 times x cube minus it is the sum of the roots because you know 1 upon 2 2 and 3 are the roots so you can write this as alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 times x square plus and you know very well these are the product of the roots a uh, product of two roots means you can write this as um, 2 can, 6 can be written as 2 into 3 plus 3 upon 2 can be written as 3 into 1 upon 2 plus 1 Into x and minus six upon two as it is, or you can write this six upon two as we will write here minus uh, x minus and six upon two. This six upon two can be written as two into three into one upon two. That means the product of three roots. These are the roots one upon two, three and two, and six upon two is the product of these three roots, right? Or you can write this as two times x cube minus same alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three x square plus and you know alpha one these are the product of, sum of the products means you can write this uh, expression as alpha one alpha two plus alpha three alpha one. Plus alpha three, alpha two, because this one can be written as two into one upon two. This can be replaced by two into one upon two, right? And two and one upon two are the two roots. So it is the product of two roots. Uh, two into one upon two. It is the product of another two roots. Three into one upon two, and it is also the product of two roots. Two into three means this uh, expression or this term is the uh, sum of the products. Products of each possible pair of roots, right? So it can be written in the form of alpha one, alpha two, alpha three as alpha one into alpha two plus alpha three into alpha one plus alpha three into alpha two. 
times x minus and it is the product of three roots so you can write alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and 2 is multiplied by this whole uh, expression means from this equation you can conclude that the coefficients of the second term is the sum of the all roots coefficient of the third term uh, is the sum of the products of each possible pair of roots and the last term contains the product of the roots now how can you generalize this idea for nth degree polynomial equation let's see for this first remember that sum of all roots alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha n is represented in sigma notation as alpha 1 summation alpha 1 means summation alpha 1 will be equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 plus up to alpha n right and the sum of the products of every possible pair is represented as summation alpha 1 alpha 2 means it will be equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 plus alpha 1 alpha 3 plus up to alpha n minus 1 alpha n means every pair of possible roots now remember that we are talking about the nth degree polynomial equation but we have seen the example of cubic polynomial equation so when you have the nth degree polynomial equation you will get the sum of the product of each possible combination of three roots and then four roots and up to so on so sum of the product of three roots is represented as summation alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and it will be equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 plus alpha 1 alpha 3 alpha 4 plus up to alpha n minus 2 alpha n minus 1 alpha n to convince yourself you can take the fourth or fifth degree polynomial as an example now again come to the point so here f x is the polynomial equation and uh, polynomial can be written in the factors form as uh, a no times the uh, all the factors right now when you multiply these factors you will get the form of f of x f of x is equal to a naught means coefficient of uh, this a naught times x power n minus summation alpha 1 x power n minus 1 plus summation alpha 1 alpha 2 means sum of the product of every possible pair of two roots uh, times x minus x power n minus 2 minus summation alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 times x power n minus 3 plus up to minus 1 power n times alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 up to alpha n and let's suppose it is your equation 2 remember that signs will be alternative and this minus 1 power n shows if the polynomial will be odd degree then last term will be negative and if it is of, of even degree then last term will be positive now I hope you have understood that how to write this equation f of x is equal to 0 in this form. Now the next step is to compare this equation 2 with the polynomial equation 1. So we have written this equation in this form. Now remember that this a naught is multiplied by all the terms of the uh, this expression. Right? Now equating the coefficients of like terms. Equating the coefficients of like terms we have what we have minus a naught summation alpha 1 means this term means coefficient of this term x power n minus 1 will be minus summation alpha 1 and uh, it is multiplied by a naught so coefficient is a naught times minus a naught times summation alpha 1 and the coefficient of uh, at this side is equal to a 1 right or you can write this summation alpha 1 is equal to minus a1 means you can divide this minus a0 by this a1 so minus a1 upon a0 it is the first relation means sum of the roots is equal to minus a1 upon a0 and you know what is a1 and a0 now secondly uh, you can compare this coefficient of this x power n minus 2. So what is the coefficient of x power n minus 2 here? a naught times a naught times summation alpha 1 alpha 2 is equal to 
and here the coefficient of x power n minus 2 is equal to a2. So you can write this summation alpha 1 alpha 2 is equal to a2 upon a0. It is the second relation that sum of the product of the roots is equal to the a2 upon a0. Now in this time minus a0 minus a0 times summation alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 is equal to and here what is the coefficient of n minus 3 coefficient of n minus 3 will be a3 because uh, a0 a1 a2 and then a3 so it is equal to a3 or you can write summation alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 is equal to a3 upon minus a3 upon a0 and it is your third relation which shows this uh, sum of the products of three roots so if you proceed in the same manner you will have the last term uh, a naught times minus 1 power n alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 up to alpha n is equal to the constant term a n or you can write product of the roots that is alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 up to alpha n as a power n minus 1 power n times a power n upon a naught right so it is the last term means it shows the product of the roots and you know product of the roots is equal to minus 1 times uh, minus 1 power n times a n upon a naught. So finally we have derived the relationships between the roots and coefficients of the polynomial equation f of x is equal to 0. Now let me have a quadratic polynomial. Let me have a quadratic polynomial. Polynomial. You know the standard form of quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And let alpha and beta are the roots roots of this equation roots of uh, let's suppose it is your equation a then these are the roots alpha and beta then according to the above relations you can write that sum of the uh, roots that is alpha plus beta because there are only two roots the so sum of the uh, roots will be alpha plus beta and according to the above relations sum of the roots will be minus b upon a right you can compare this uh, equation by the general equation then you have it is your a naught a naught x power n here n is equal to 2 a naught after a naught a 1 comes a naught a 1 and it is a 2 right so alpha plus beta is equal to in this relation general relation uh, summation of the roots is equal to minus a 1 upon a naught where a 1 is the coefficient of the second term so what is the second term here a 1 is equal to b so minus minus b upon a what is a here a denotes the a naught so some of the roots will be minus b upon a in this quadratic equation right and the uh, product of the roots will be alpha beta is equal to minus 1 times you know uh, in this uh, equation only the sum of the roots and uh, product of the roots involved so alpha beta is equal to minus 1 power n and what is n n is equal to 2 here because it is the quadratic equation so write uh, 2 instead of this n minus 1 power n times a n what is a n here a n denotes the a 2 so c upon a naught what is a naught here a naught is equal to a so c upon a it means that alpha beta means product of the roots is equal to c upon a so in this quadratic form uh, quadratic equation general uh, standard form of this quadratic equation sum of the roots will be minus b upon a and product of the roots will be c upon a right and similarly if we have a cubic polynomial uh, that is a x cube uh, cubic polynomial uh, a x cube you know standard form of the cubic polynomial will be a x cube b x square plus c x plus d is equal to 0 right so uh, how you can define the relations between the roots uh, you know some of the roots let's suppose alpha beta and gamma are the roots are the roots alpha beta and gamma are the roots then 
what relationship exists between the roots and coefficients sum of the roots now in this time alpha plus beta and gamma represents the sum of the roots and here sum of the roots will be minus b upon a now in this time you need this uh, sum of the products of the roots because here cubic equation is uh, here is a cubic equation so summation alpha 1 alpha 2 you know it represents the sum of the products of every possible pair of uh, roots so summation alpha 1 alpha 2 will be you can write alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma because uh, it is the uh, all possible sum of the products of the roots and you know sum of the products of the roots according to the above formula it will be c upon a right and finally you need product of the roots which will be alpha beta and gamma and you know it is equal to minus 1 times uh, minus 1 power n and here n is equal to 3 so you will write here 3 times a n uh, a not a not uh, a n upon a not so it will be d upon a is it right so it becomes alpha beta and gamma is equal to minus uh, minus 1 whole cube is equal to minus d upon a so it is the product of the roots it is the sum of the roots and it is the uh, sum of the products of the roots and it is the sum of the roots right and you can proceed in a similar manner for fourth degree and higher degree equations now let me solve some related examples so now solve the equation cubic equation given that the roots are in the arithmetic progression now you know what is meant by the arithmetic progression or sequence progression and sequence are the same things so what is arithmetic progression uh, it is nothing but a sequence in which common difference is same for instance we have the sequence 1 2 3 4 up to so on so it is called the uh, this sequence is called the ap means arithmetic progression because in this sequence the common difference is same means each term can be obtained by uh, adding 1 uh, in the previous term that is 2 can be obtained by adding 1 in this previous term 3 can be obtained by adding this 1 uh, in the second term means 2 plus 1 and this 4 can be obtained by adding the same term uh, same number 1 in the previous term that is 4 is equal to 3 plus 1 so it is called the arithmetic progression because every term is uh, can be obtained by adding the same number in the previous term right and how to get previous term by subtracting the same constant that is 2 can be obtained 2 can be obtained by this next term uh, as 3 minus 1 2 is equal to 3 minus 1 and this 3 can be obtained by this next term as 3 is equal to 4 minus 1 means uh, for the next term we are adding the same number this same number 1 here and for the uh, previous term we are subtracting the same number from the next term right now come to the question so let the roots are let the roots are alpha minus beta alpha and alpha plus beta you can see that these roots are in the arithmetic progression because uh, this alpha minus beta can be obtained by the next term alpha by subtracting the same number and here the common difference is beta means alpha minus beta is uh, the previous term and alpha is the next term and alpha plus beta is the next uh, term right so these are the three roots which are in the arithmetic progression and you are required to find the value of alpha and beta that are the solution of the uh, this uh, alpha beta means you are required to find the alpha minus beta alpha and alpha plus beta and in order to find these three roots that are in the arithmetic progression you are required to find the values of alpha and beta means when you get the value of alpha and beta you can find the roots right So let's see how to find this alpha and beta. So first, you can write the sum of the roots. Sum of the roots is equal to alpha minus beta plus alpha plus alpha plus beta. It is the sum of the roots, and you know sum of the roots is equal to according to that relations that we have derived. It must be equal to minus. Minus nine upon one. You can verify. So when you simplify this, you will have three alpha alpha one alpha one alpha and one alpha becomes three alpha is equal to minus into minus plus nine upon one can be written as nine. 
so it implies that alpha is equal to when 9 is divided by 3 you will get 3 so the value of alpha is equal to 3 now the product of the roots the product of the roots is equal to alpha minus beta alpha and alpha plus beta and you know according to the uh, derived equation derived relationships you can find the product of the roots that will be equal to minus minus 24 upon 1 right and when you multiply these uh, roots you will have a minus b into a plus b uh, so you can write this as a minus b into a plus b becomes a square minus b square sorry alpha square minus beta square is equal to minus into minus plus 24 now you have the value of alpha just put the value of this alpha in this equation you have uh, the value of alpha is 3 so write 3 times 3 square 9 minus beta square is equal to 24 and to uh, solve this equation for the uh, beta so first you will divide this 3 by 24 you have 9 minus beta square is equal to uh, 8 and then beta square minus beta square is equal to 8 minus 9 right so it becomes beta square is equal to minus 1 minus beta square is equal to minus 1 and we have beta is equal to plus minus 1 so the value of alpha is equal to 3 but the value of beta will be plus 1 or minus 1 so let see what is the valid value of beta or both the values of beta can be valid right so uh, substitute substitute alpha is equal to 3 and first beta is equal to plus 1 right we are checking that whether the roots are in the arithmetic progression when the value of alpha is equal to 3 and the uh, value of beta is equal to 1 uh, is equal to 1 so alpha minus 1 alpha minus 1 uh, sorry alpha minus beta means 3 minus 1 2 alpha that is 3 and the third root uh, it will be alpha plus beta that is 3 plus 1 4 are these in the arithmetic progression yes so these uh, numbers can be the roots of this equation right because the criteria or restriction will be that uh, roots must be in the arithmetic progression now substitute alpha is equal to 3 and beta in this time is equal to minus 1 what you will have alpha minus beta again alpha minus beta so 3 plus 1 4 alpha that is 3 and alpha plus beta so 3 minus 1 will be 2 are these in the arithmetic progression yes so uh, either we write beta is equal to plus 1 or beta is equal to minus 1 both the values of beta will give the uh, roots in the arithmetic progression right so the roots are let me write it 2, 3 and 4. So it is your answer. Right now let us see another example. Now in this example you are required to solve this cubic uh, equation again. Uh, given that the difference between two roots is 7. Means there are three roots of this equation you know very well. And there is a relation between the roots that the difference between two roots any of the three roots uh, the difference between the two roots is equal to 7. So according to the condition let the roots are let the roots are alpha then second root will be let's suppose alpha plus 7 and then third root will be beta means the, the relation between two roots is equal to uh, the difference of between two roots is 7 means second root is 7 more than the first root right now some of the roots of the roots is equal to alpha plus alpha plus 7 plus beta and you know from the relations uh, that we have derived uh, some of the roots will be uh, in this case it will be equal to minus 1 you can verify and when you simplify this you will get 2 alpha plus beta plus 7 is equal to minus 1 or 2 alpha plus beta is equal to minus 8 2 alpha plus beta is equal to minus 8 now some of the products of the roots of the roots is equal to means uh, when you take 2 at a time so alpha times alpha plus 7 plus 
अल्फा प्लस सेवन टाइम्स बीटा प्लस अल्फा बीटा एंड यू नो सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द टू ऑफ द रूट वेन टू आर टेकन एट अ टाइम इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन अपॉन वन मीन्स माइनस सिक्सटीन राइट सो वेन यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस यू विल गेट अल्फा टाइम्स अल्फा प्लस सेवन एंड यू कैन टेक बीटा इज कॉमन फ्रॉम दीज टू टर्म्स यू हैव अल्फा प्लस सेवन अल्फा प्लस सेवन प्लस अल्फा जो अल्फा प्लस अल्फा इज इक्वल टू अल्फा प्लस सेवन टाइम्स बीटा एंड इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन एंड इट इज योर सेकेंड इक्वेशन नाउ यू आर रिक्वायर टू सॉल्व दीज टू सैमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन फॉर अल्फा एंड बीटा सो फॉर दिस पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन टू इक्वेशन टू फ्रॉम वन यू हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा बीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू अल्फा माइनस एट इट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा पुट इन टू वैन यू पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा इन इक्वेशन टू यू हैव अल्फा टाइम्स अल्फा प्लस सेवन प्लस टू अल्फा प्लस सेवन टाइम्स टू माइनस टू अल्फा माइनस एट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन एंड वेन यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन यू विल हैव थ्री अल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री अल्फा प्लस फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो यू कैन वेरीफाई एंड यू कैन सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन बाई फैक्ट्राइजेशन बिकॉज इट हैज़ टू फैक्टर्स अल्फा प्लस फाइव एंड थ्री अल्फा प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इट एम्प्लाइज दैट अल्फा इज इक्वल टू आदर अल्फा इज इक्वल टू फाइव और alpha is equal to minus 8 upon 3 now there are two values of alpha one is minus 5 and second is minus 8 upon 3 then obviously there are there will be two values of beta but you can verify or you can check which value of alpha is valid by uh, taking third relationship that is product of the roots because we have not used the uh, relation that is product of the roots so alpha sorry product of the roots will be alpha times alpha plus 7 Times beta, and you know by the relations, value of uh, uh, the product of the roots will be minus twenty, right? And which satisfies only, which satisfies only when alpha is equal to minus five. It means the value of alpha that is equal to minus eight upon three will be discarded. Why? Because uh, when you find the product of the roots, it will be minus twenty, and when you put alpha is equal to minus five, and uh, then you will get the value of a uh, beta. Uh, then you will get the value minus twenty, right? Means when you put the value of alpha is equal to minus five, and you can find the value of beta that that is minus two alpha minus eight, and it implies that the value of beta will be ten minus eight. Ten minus eight will be two. So If the value of alpha is equal to minus five and beta is equal to two, then the product of the roots will be minus twenty. So these are the uh, valid values of alpha and beta. That is, alpha is equal to minus five and beta is equal to two, right? And you know, you you were given the relations between the roots. Therefore, the roots are alpha means minus five. Second roots uh, root will will be. Alpha plus seven. So alpha plus seven mean, means minus five plus seven is equal to two, and third root will be beta. So it is two. So these are the required roots. So I hope you got it. The next video I will solve some other examples related to this topic. That's it.